So let's get back to talking about a rhombus and a kite. So for number seven, this is going to take us back a long ways away. Um, we've got this kite here. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to find the area. And when we find the area, we have to do one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. So the goal is to find the length of this piece and the length of this piece. All right, we're finding the lengths of the diagonals. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize this seven root two and this 45. We know that the diagonals are perpendicular, so we know that's a right angle. So if we look at this right angle here, or if we look at this triangle here, I mean, all right, notice there's a right angle. This is 45, so this angle is also 45. Notice it makes a 45, 45, 90 triangle. We did this a while ago, but we did a lot with it. Last unit, unit, or no, two units ago, unit 10. 45, 45, 90, all right, if you recall, we had A, A, A root two. So across in the 90 is A root two. And these other two pieces across in the 45s are A. So we know that A root two is equal to seven root two. We need to find out what A is, because then we'll have those two pieces. To get rid of the root two, we divide. And they're gonna cancel on both sides. So A is seven. So this piece here is seven and this piece here is seven. So we have that. Then what we need to do is focus on another triangle. So let's say we focus on this triangle here. All right, this triangle here we have seven, 25, and then I'm gonna call this piece X. To find that, we can use the fact that it's a right triangle and use Pythagorean theorem. Seven squared plus X squared equals the hypotenuse squared, 25 squared and you're going to solve that and you're going to get x equals 24. So this missing piece here is 24. The only other piece that we don't have is this piece down here, but something that you may not remember about kites is the shorter diagonal. So this diagonal here that I'm highlighting in yellow, that's our shorter diagonal, is always going to be bisected. That was something we learned at the beginning of the semester. So if this piece is seven, this piece is also seven. So we have seven, 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 and 24. Now we can finally find the area. All right, the area is going to be one half times diagonal one. So the shorter diagonal is seven and seven, which is 14, times diagonal two. The longer diagonal, we got 24 and seven. 24 plus seven is 31. So we're gonna multiply one half times 14 times 31, giving us 217 square meters. So that's how that one works. Number eight, they give you the diagonals of a rhombus are 24 and 70, find the perimeter and area. Okay, let's deal with the area. The area of a rhombus, given the diagonals, we're gonna use one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. The, let's see, the diagonals are 24 and 70. So we're just gonna do one half times 24 times 70, and that'll give us 840 square centimeters. So that's the area of this thing. Now, the perimeter's a little different. Let's draw this out. So a rhombus is like, kind of like a square. It's very diamond-like, it's a leaning square. We know that the diagonals are 24 and 70, all right? We also know the diagonals are perpendicular and the diagonals bisect each other in a rhombus. So if the one diagonal is 24, that means that each piece is gonna be 12. And the other diagonal, if that's 70, that means that each piece is gonna be 35. Another thing you may not remember about a rhombus is that all four sides are congruent. So all we need to do is find one side and we'll have all of them. I'm gonna focus on this right triangle here. I'm going to call this missing piece here X. We're gonna do Pythagorean theorem. It's the hypotenuse, so that'll go by itself. We'll have 12 squared plus 35 squared equals X squared find that piece. You'll do Pythagorean theorem and you're going to get x equals 37. So this side is 37, which means 
that this side's 37, this side's 37, and this side's 37. So some of the stuff from unit 8 is going to come back a little bit, like the fact that the diagonals bisect each other in a rhombus. All four sides of a rhombus are congruent, those types of things. We know all the sides are 37, and now we can find the perimeter. You can do 37 plus 37 plus 37 four times, or just multiply it by 4. Your perimeter is going to be 148 centimeters. You do not need square units because it's perimeter, not area. All right, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try 9 and 10. All right, give those a try and see how it goes. Pause the video, try them, and then resume to see how you do. Good luck. Okay, so let's see how you did. For this number nine, you have an isosceles triangle. So we know we're gonna be using the formula one half times base times height for the area. We know that the base is 24, the legs are 15, all right? And then the height, we don't know. So I drew in a height, it's perpendicular to the base. If it's perpendicular to the base, it bisects it. So each of those pieces is 12. And then the height is this guy that I just drew, the altitude. We're going to focus on one of those right triangles. So if you focus on, let's say, this triangle over here, you'll notice you have two out of the three sides, so you can do Pythagorean theorem. h squared plus 12 squared equals 15 squared. Solve for h, you're going to get 9. So the height is 9. The base is 24. Area equals 1 half times base times height. You get 108 square feet. For the next one, it's a trapezoid. It's kind of like um, number six above. You're going to need to draw in two heights. All right. And so if this piece is 11, the piece across from it has to be 11 because it creates a rectangle. If this whole bottom is 21, when we've used up 11, that means there's 10 left. So each of these pieces is 5. 5 and 5 makes 10. Then what you're going to do is focus on one of the right triangles. And if you notice with that, you have two out of the three sides. So you're going to do h squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. Solve for the height, you get 12. Once you know the height and you know the two bases, the bases again are the two parallel sides, so 11 and 21. Plug it in, 1 half times height times base 1 plus base 2, you're going to get 192 square centimeters. And that's it for area.